So then when you're out in the field using, ow, the mosquitoes. Today I have a super quick video on calibrating your meter. One of the most important things you can do when you buy a new meter or buy a used meter. This is what I'm doing. I'm calibrating my meters today. I haven't calibrated them all winter. And a lot of photographers don't realize when you buy a brand new light meter, you need to calibrate it. It's not always set up perfectly, or I should say the light readings don't work as they should. And there's a simple way of figuring this out and a simple formula for figuring this out too. You take the box speed of the film you're shooting. So in this instance, I'm shooting 400 ISO and my shutter speed would be 1 500th. And since it's a bright sunny day with no shade, no uh, cloud cover, my meter reading should be 500th at F16. That's the sunny 16 rule. But this meter right here, it gives me a meter reading of 500 at 16.4. So this meter is out by over a third of a stop. My Minolta meter here gives me the correct reading at 500 at F16. So that means whenever I use my meter in any direction, it's gonna give me the correct exposure. If you don't calibrate your meters, then you could be off by a third of a stop, a half a stop, even two thirds of a stop in your meter readings. So calibrating it is always important. So it's a super simple way of calibrating your meter. You get a beautiful blue sky, sunny day like today, midday you go out and you take a meter reading so that your dome is completely in the sunshine, that there's no shade whatsoever. And you take a meter reading. In this case, my meter reading is 1 500th at 16.5. So it's a half a stop out. There's no dial to manipulate on this meter to calibrate it. On my Sekonic, what you have to do is you have to push both the ISO buttons and then you calibrate the meter. So I'm gonna go minus a half a stop and take another meter reading. And then there, it's perfect. It's 500 at F16. So now I know my meter is calibrated. On my Minolta meter in the back here, there's actually a little dial and you can turn that dial and calibrate your meter that way. So you wanna turn the dial until you get a meter reading of 500 at F16, the sunny 16 rule. Now, if your meter doesn't have a way to calibrate it, either holding the ISO button electronically or the little dial that you can fine tune your meter, all you need to do is change your ISO. And in this case, I would change my ISO to 250th and overexpose it. And then I would set up my meter that way. So now I would know that I would have to overexpose my meter or set the ISO for a half a stop, approximately half a stop from box speed to get the correct exposure. So that's the third way of adjusting your meter. For those of you who've watched my videos, you know I use a light meter a lot. Having a properly calibrated light meter is key. Whether you're shooting color negative film, black and white using the spot meter, or shooting transparency film, you really want to have an accurate meter. So thanks for watching this short video, but super important video on calibrating your meter. If you liked it, give me a like, hit subscribe. Happy shooting, see you next time, cheers.